let's start with the primer, syempre. I have here the Touch In Soul no Pore Blend Primer. According to the description box, smooth and pore covering motion. Sabi naman ako ng mga online reviews according to some reviews, this is really good for oily skin. Ako kasi yung skin type ko is very oily, like extremely oily. After ko mag-makeup, 20 to 30 minutes talagang nag-oil na ako lalo sa T-zone ko. Uh, ang gagawin natin for today is magkakaroon tayo ng wear test. Nagamitin ko tong primer and then it check natin every 3 hours kung ano yung lagay ng makeup natin. So hindi ako magpa-blot ng any blotting paper or uh, tissue paper. Hindi din ako magpapunas ng face. It's a check natin kung ano yung lagay ng makeup ko after that. Okay? Okay guys, before I apply the primer, I just want to let you know na wala akong nilagay sa face ko. Wala akong anything, walang moisturizer, primer, face powder, or foundation na nilagay dito. As you can see, meron akong mga blemishes. Kita niyo din yung discoloration dito sa bandang ilong ko. And meron din akong pimple dito. Ayan. So, tingnan natin kung gano'n talaga ka-effective to. Um, primer na to. Lalo dito sa bandang ilong. Dito kasi malalaki talaga yung pores ko. Kasi when I was a teenager, um, lagi ako dito nagkakaroon ng malalaking pimples. Like, si stick up na talaga sila. So, try na natin to. Okay guys, tapos ko na itong i-apply sa face ko. And for the initial reaction regarding the smell or fragrance, very mild lang siya so okay to for me kasi ayoko nung very overwhelming yung amoy. And then according to the website or yung product description nila, sabi nila this is a lightweight primer lang daw. And true enough naman upon applying this to my face, very light lang siya so Kung i-compare natin sa ibang primer na silicone base din, yung iba kasi is very heavy. Okay, for our next product, I have here the Red Tux Pot Powder by So Natural. Ang claim to fame nila is, ito daw ay spot treatment that help treats acne. So, mas maganda siguro to para din sa talagang pinutubuan ng acne or pimples. And to use this, you have to shake it. So, kailangan mong i-shake siya para maging concealer. And then, for treatment naman during night time, okay lang kahit hindi mo siya i-shake kasi magsiseparate yung powder doon sa um, solution niya. So, para siyang uh, spot treatment ni Mario Manesco, yung kulay pink na maroon yung powder. So, eto ang kagandahan lang nito. You can use it as a concealer din. Meron siyang parang spatula. Uh, akala ko nga nung una parang uh, brush. Pero hindi pala. Spatula yung itsura niya. Ayan. So, lagin lang natin yung pimple ko.
apply yung ating concealer. Um, initial reaction, I don't like the spatula, yung applicator niya. As you can see, hindi kasi siya napibend. So, medyo mahirap gamitin or ilagay dun sa mga problem spots ko. Sana nylon brush na lang siya para mas easier to apply. And then, meron siyang cooling effect pag nilagay mo siya dun sa mga acne. Ang downside lang siguro nito is you can't use it as your regular concealer kasi spot treatment lang siya. So, for pimple and acne lang siya. Hindi mo siya pwede yung gamitin sa under eye o kaya dun sa mga um, other areas mo na mayroong discoloration. Since magkakaroon tayo ng wear test, susubukan natin yung primer natin and then yung concealer, I will be using my regular or my go-to foundation. So, ito yung ginagamit ko everyday. So, this is Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 120. So, ito din yung gagamitin ko for today. Na ang claim nila is lightweight, fine powder now that absorbs sebum and oil while maintaining the skin's moisture. Try na natin. guys, tapos na ako magayos. As you can see, very matte pa yung face ko. Wala pang oil. So, I'll see you after 3 hours. 3 hours later. Hello guys, I'm back after 3 hours. Uh, I-check natin yung makeup ko. As you can see, nagsushine na siya sa bandang cheeks and nose. And yun, napansin ko lang medyo na-highlight yung pores ko. Sa bandang ilong and sa cheeks. Pero not bad kasi usually after mga 3 hours, kapag ibang primer yung ginagamit ko, sobrang oil na talaga siya. So ngayon, hindi naman ganun ka-oil. I mean, kaya siya ng blocking paper. Check ulit natin after another 3 hours. Much, much, much later. Hello guys! I'm back after another 3 hours. And ito na yung makeup ko. As you can see. Bali, hindi ako nag-touch up, hindi ako nag blot for this. Nagpalit lang ako ng lipstick at saka ng damit. So, oily na talaga yung face ko. And then, kita nyo na visible na yung pores sa bandang ilong. 
Babaan ko lang yung brightness. Yan. So, kita nyo na yung problem area ko. Diyan ako talaga nagkakabing once before. So, puro scars na siya. Pero not bad for 6 hours. Yung primer is okay siya. Kasi normally after 6 hours, with uh, blotting pa and touch up, talagang super oily. And I think naka-ring light pa ako, tapos hindi na siya nung halata yung pag-shine ng face. Is okay, sure. Yeah. So, ito yung rating ko sa kanina. 